So today I want to talk about some interesting information about hernias and what you can do uh, if you have one. So a hernia is a weakness within the collagen connective tissue or fascia that is there to hold, uh, hold your body in a certain form, okay? Now, what would create this weakness? One thing is something called glycated proteins, okay? What is that? That's a condition where you're combining a sugar molecule and a protein molecule together. When this condition happens, it makes the collagen very weak and susceptible to tearing, increasing the risk of hernias, aneurysm, which is a weakness within the vascular wall, and it creates a bulging effect, which can break, and also increase risk of getting a stroke uh, from an aneurysm. It makes the arteries really, really stiff. And the more stiff collagen is, the more susceptible it is to uh, crack and break, okay? So whether you're talking about collagen on a tendon, a ligament, or just the fascia around your abdomen, um, this still applies. So glycated protein can come from aging, smoking, but especially hyperglycemia, okay? This is a situation where you have high sugar. We're talking about diabetes or even prediabetes. And as a side note, the sugar fructose can create 10 times more glycated protein than glucose. Now, what's interesting is that you would think that high fructose corn syrup has the most fructose, but really high fructose corn syrup only has 55% fructose. 100% fruit juice has 65% fructose. Interesting. And agave nectar is 95% fructose. So you really want to stay away from fructose if you're susceptible to getting hernias. Now you can develop glycated protein inside your body from having high sugar, or you can actually consume glycated protein from certain foods. So I want to explain the difference, okay? If your blood sugar is high, especially over a period of time, um, you start getting glycated proteins in the eye, um, creating all sorts of problems with the eye itself and circulation to the eye, uh, the lens of the eye, which is protein, the nervous system, the brain, the kidney, the beta cell. That's the cell that actually produces insulin in the pancreas, the vascular system around the heart. But you could also consume foods that have these glycated proteins because when you heat uh, sugar with a protein or even sugar with a fat uh, over 248 degrees Fahrenheit, you create these proteins. And that would be in deep fried French fries, donuts, barbecued meats, cake, dark soda. So as you can see, the elephant in the room is right here. High sugar always comes back to this high sugar state. And also make a note of this. When you combine protein with sugar or fat with sugar and you heat it up, it's actually a lot worse than consuming straight sugar. All right, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. So I wanna thank you for being here and watching my videos. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so so you can stay informed of future videos.